I want to make sure that you are worshiping, that you are praying the way that you need to pray. You know, sometimes I think back on my life, and there have been, some of the times I have felt the most lonely have been times where I've been in a crowd of people. And you don't have to be alone to feel lonely. You can be at work and feel lonely. You can be at home. You can be at church. You can be in a shopping mall. You can be in a football stadium and feel lonely. Good news is we know that we're not alone. We know that we're not alone. And, and we know that God is with us, and he has saved us, and he's given us his Holy Spirit within us to encourage us and teach us and comfort us and empower us. And one of the greatest ways that we really show God that we have faith in him and that we believe we're not alone and we overcome that feeling of loneliness is by praying, by praying. It's one thing to say that I trust in God. It's one thing to say, yeah, yeah, you know, I know I'm not alone. But how I really demonstrate that in my life practically is by praying. And let me encourage you that if you are in a place in your life or in your ministry where you feel alone, maybe you're not alone, maybe you work at a large church with a lot of people or you've got a really large family, but yet you feel alone, lean into the arms of Jesus and really practice prayer. Here's what I want for you. I want to make sure that you are worshiping, that you are praying the way that you need to pray. Some of you really need help, but you've not prayed about it. You know, one of the best ways to get your prayers not answered is not to pray about it, right? If you want answered prayer, if you want to see God show up in your life, if you want to see victory, um, if you want to see provision, if you want to see abundance, you've got to pray diligently and ask for those things in your life. So friend, listen, you might be really, really busy. You might feel really, really lonely. You might feel like you're right on the verge of something big and you don't know what that big thing is. Start praying. Start praying. Start praying. I've heard my pastor say several times that little prayer brings little power, but much prayer brings much power. And if I want God's power in my life and in my marriage and with my kids and in my ministry, I've got to make time to pray. Well, Ryan, I'm not sure how to pray. Well, you know what? Just start simple. The disciples were like that. They walked with Jesus. And what did they say? Lord, teach us to pray. Right? And they were right there in the presence of Jesus. And so start simple. Listen, the, you don't have to pray for 30 minutes at a time. Start with a one or two minute prayer, just thanking God for your day and, and lifting before him what's on your heart and what your needs are. Start praying for others. Start praying for opportunities, praying for the kids in your ministry. As you show that dependence upon God and you make it a real part of your daily life, the good news is that God's power will follow. His presence will be made manifest. And uh, you'll see amazing, amazing abundance in your life. But it starts with prayer.